Well, I think clearly if you were going to, if you were a hitchhiker and were picked up by any of the lunar missions, 12 would have been the one that would have been fun to, to tag along on. You know, if they were, you know, they were all these Navy buddies. I mean, like I think Pete Conrad and Dick Gordon had been wingmates on a carrier before, you know. I mean, like they'd all known each other, flown together, felt comfortable together, um, and they had a gas. You know, I mean, like, they, you can tell listening to the tapes from those days. I mean, they had a lot of fun when they went. And hopefully everybody had at least some fun, you know, I mean, but, but they're the ones that you really, there's no question in your mind. These guys had a good time. I feel that way. I thought the three of us have always been fairly close. Uh, we had a relationship prior to ever being in the space program. Uh, and it was a very comfortable feeling. Uh, to fly together. I've always accused Pete and I of being together so often we think alike and we can communicate without speech. And it's a very unique experience. I don't think any other crew uh, comes to that point. We had trained as a crew, we were the backup crew for Apollo 9, and then we trained, which it was maybe a year and a half or two of training, and then uh, we were the prime crew for Apollo 12, which is another nine months of training and we were real good at it as a crew.